Okay. Many times when you're doing a PowerPoint, you may be working with other team members in your class. So you might be working on the same PowerPoint together and you both need or all of you need access to it in case someone's absent or you have to work on it independently for a little bit. But in order to share a file so other people can see it and have access, all you have to do is go up here to the top corner and you'll see this share button. When you click that, I had to double click that, it'll ask you who you want to share with. Now you have some choices here. People can specify, people you specify can view. That means whoever you give permission to by sending this email to, they can get into your PowerPoint. And when you click here, you have some other choices. You can also allow for editing. Now, if you're working with other people, yes, you want to allow editing so that they can get in and make changes to the document too. And then we want to do specific people. So we're going to hit apply. And now all you have to do really is you can um, type in a friend's name. You can, I would start with their last name. And I'm putting in one of my friends and there she is. And I can click it and then she has um, access to my file and I can send a message by typing I am sharing my demo file with you and then you can hit send and it will send um, that message to your friend and they can access it and edit it and for your teacher you can do the same thing you could type in your teacher's last name and just hit send and then your teacher will get it if you are working with other people, you can also add comments without making changes. Right up here, there's a comments button and you can add in comments and you can even write back with little messages to the people you're working with so that you can make changes as needed. So that's how we share our finished uh, or while we're working on a project.